all right everybody welcome back to the channel and it looks like Aaron has been released on the North American servers I am not exactly sure what level infinite was thinking as to their timing they could have released her a couple of weeks ago when they did the update they could have waited until next week when the rank reset happens but they arbitrarily picked February 7th to release her so she is available for purchase and available for use although if you're planning on playing her in a match good luck because everybody's wanting to play her right now and she is difficult to get I have not been able to play in a match myself I've just been uh, able to play in some bot matches but let's take a quick peek at her kit and see what we have here so her passive fairy dance she you can look and see the damage stats here but she gains with every normal attack she gains a level of energy when she gets three levels of energy she gets an accelerate she gets a little sprint with her movement speed if you're normal attacking something she will not use up that energy she won't sprint she'll just stand there until you actually move your ability then she'll do the sprint and every third normal attack she gains the same sprint s1 ability is kind of like um, it looks like Stuart's, kind of a longer range attack with a burst at the end whenever the projectile hits a hero a target or um, he gets to the end of its location it lays down a um, magic ring it deals magic damage and slows by 50 percent for one second so there's a little bit of cc there her S2 ability prevents her from being CC'd. Um, whenever you use S2, she'll gain a little uh, yellow bar at the top uh, above her head. And for three seconds, she has immunity to speed reduction and increases attack speed by 25% for three seconds. Um, and she gets two stacks of the Laurel Mark. She gets two stacks of the projectiles for her ultimate and her S1 ability, she gets one stack when she uses it. Now her ult uh, is called Laurel Bloom, and when she uses her, um, when her energy is full, so every third attack, she gains one stack of the Laurel Mark. So she does gain these stacks pretty quickly, and whenever she uses her ult, it releases those stacks or projectiles and uh, does the damage that you see here. It automatically attacks the lowest HP target in the area and reduces the cooldown time of her S2 ability, which is right there, spinning song of Whisper. I don't know, I don't see one that says Whisper, so that's interesting. It reduces the cooldown time um, by 0.2 seconds, but that's not, that's neither here nor there. The, the point is the damage it does um, and the movement speed that you get, it's uh, kind of an area of effect that's a lot like um, Crixie's ultimate, um, but it's not an area. It's kind of, it picks one target, gives you a movement speed, and lets you kind of chase them down. So uh, she's a, a pretty mobile hero. Um, this S2 ability is, is pretty great. Don't expect to, you know, slow her down or anything. I played Roxy against her in a match a minute ago, and was able to get her with Roxy's ult, but she used S2 and just jumped right out of it. So don't expect to um, hold Aaron down anywhere. Uh, if you're gonna uh, attack her, you're gonna need to uh, burst her down pretty quick. Now she's interesting. She's got a couple different build styles. If you look right here, her normal attacks um, deal physical damage. So you can build her with kit that's Eight, you know, purely AD, and it'll be a lot of normal attacks. So her S2 ability speeds up that by 25%, pretty low cooldown. Um, but when you build in a pure AD, skill three, the ult won't trigger critical damage. And I'm not sure how this works, why, why it knows one, you know, AP versus AD, um, and how it just determines whether the ult will crit. Um, but skill three will only crit if you build some magic into it. So take a look at this, see if you can make sense of that. She's going to be kind of an interesting hero to get used to, I believe. You know, you could probably even change your build based on the enemy. 
um, depending on who you're up against, uh, just build it different as you're um, going into the game. So take a look at that and kind of make your own decision, watch some videos. I'm going to show you a quick trial here of her moveset so that we can see the stacks gain. I am going to, let's see, I'm going to drop a dummy tank. And I'm also going to increase my levels a little bit. Hmm. All right, Any so you see if I shoot, you see the one on the ult that is one stack. So my S1 ability gained one stack. My S2 ability gains two stacks. And when you reach three, you get a little white mark under your uh, above your head. So one, two, three, and we get another stack. And now we've got six on our ult. To showcase the um, energy buildup and the movement ability, if you one, two, three, you see the little blue lines and then she had that dash, one, two, three. And I can stand here and fire all day long and I won't use that blue dash until I move. One, two, three, and then move. One, two, three, and then move. Two, three and move so she's got some good abilities there and um, some of her kit actually has some some pretty good life steal so she has got a lot of really good abilities and i think it's going to be a lot of fun to get used to using her and just to showcase her alt whenever you push that she gains movement speed and you get out of range and it just holds on to them until you get back in range. I'll showcase that one more time. Actually, let's build up a full stack. Every boosted gets us a stack. Every S1 gets us a stack. And every S2 gets us two stacks. And whenever we are level one, we can hold 12. When we're level um, two on our ult, we can hold 15. And when we're level three on our ult, we can hold 18 stacks. So push it. I'm hitting, not hitting, hitting, not hitting, hitting, and you see it is a pretty neat ability. So she's cool. She's a pretty great hero. I'm going to look forward to using her in some matches whenever the newness wears off and I can actually get her in a match. All right. So that's about everything I know about Aaron right now. I wanted to just share that with you. She's available. Good luck to everybody. And I will see you all on the battlefield.